Good morning. We just arrived in Engelberg. Today we are doing a hike very close by to Tietlis, but sadly not Tietlis. Tietlis is on the list for our highest points in Switzerland, but today we are going after four lakes. The first one is going to be the Trübsee, which is a very touristic highlight of the area. But yeah, from there we are going to make our way all the way up to Milchseefrut, passing by the Joch Pass. So, let's go! So from the train station you can take a bus to get to the gondolas, but we decided to do the nice little 10 minute walk. It's not too far and just a few meters to the village. Engelberg is an alpine town in central Switzerland. In the center of Engelberg you can find a monastery which dates back to the 12th century. One of the local highlights is the road air revolving cable car which leads to the summit and the Tietlis cliff walk. In the winter it is a popular ski resort. We ourselves have also been here riding snowmobiles. In the summer you can also head to the face of Rigidalstock and enjoy one of the many Via Ferratas. The Trübsee, or Cloudy Lake, is located at 1763 meters above sea level. It is an incredibly beautiful glacial lake that is fed by the water coming down from the Tietlis Glacier. Even if you don't come here to hike, you can enjoy the lake quite a lot. Along the lake you will find fireplaces for a barbecue and quite a few seating areas where you can just sit and enjoy the reflections. There's boats here at the first lake. Um, they are available for a suggested price of 10 francs an hour. It's all trust based, so you can put cash in a little box over there, or if you have the local version of electronic payment Twint, that is also available. So our hike today is a quite easy one. It's considered a T2, so a somewhat easy mountain hike. And it should take about only three and a half hours. It will feature four beautiful lakes. The very first one already offers an incredible panoramic view over the mountain range. I'm really looking forward to this one. Right after you leave the first lake, the Trübsee, you will have to cover the most of the altitude gain. You can see it all over there. It's going up in serpentines all over the hill. And then we're going all the way up there to the pass. The ascent up to Joch Pass is the most exhausting part of the hike. If you don't feel like doing the long ascent, there's also a gondola that will take you up to the Joch Pass from Trübsee.
the background like this, it's no wonder that this hike is so popular. But it is by far not as overrun as Oeschinensee or Fronalstock. You can actually still enjoy it here. Look. Engelberg itself is located in Obwalden. At the top of the gondola station next to the Trübsee you will have reached Nidwalden. Along the hike you will encounter the four lakes. Trübsee, Engstlensee, Tannensee and finally Milchsee. Our favorite ones have to be Trübsee and Tannensee. If you can't do the hike yourself you can also reach both of these lakes easily. You can reach Trübsee directly with a gondola from Engelberg. From Milchsee Frut you can take a tourist train up to the Tannensee. Reaching Tannensee, we were really tempted to take a swim. Sadly, it is not allowed to swim in this lake. The clear water looks incredibly inviting though and the mountain backdrop is just breathtaking. Thank you. 
we are nearing the gondola station in Maxifrut, thank you so much for watching. This was a lot quieter than the five lake hike at Pizzol. Featuring far less traffic, we actually enjoyed this hike a bit more than the one at Pizzol. Which of the two would you like to do more? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't seen it, check our video on Pizzol over here.